Warm. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, and double honors to my elder apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom, Wa. Chassad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, Uma Yusoko Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we're scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great abroad do you guys say shalom beginning with the 144,000 prophets and Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai willing this lesson is edifying my name is Kwan Wath, and in today's lesson we'll comment on this brief TikTok clip that you brothers and few sisters see before you that was shared by brother in one of the group chats and uh, many scriptures came to mind after finish listening to this and without further ado, let's take a, a listen together and then filter everything that is said by the scriptures. I have a question, right? How many of you guys remember the Hebrew Israelites? When I'm talking about the Hebrew Israelites, I'm not specifically talking about the people in the Bible, per se. I mean, same thing, right hand. Right. But I'm specifically talking about the guys, the camps, the Hebrew Israelite camps that was in every major city. They're still in every, some of them are still in every major city. But there was a time when it was out there on a large scale, on a grand scale. Isn't it safe to say with everything that's transpiring in America right now that everything that they were preaching, everything that they were talking about on whether it be YouTube or if you ran into them on the street, isn't it safe to say that they were right? Neither shall they know as it is written in the book of Ezekiel 33 verse 33 that a prophet had been among them. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 9 as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, my thoughts than your thoughts. But as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So, in like manner, that is to say, shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it and the words of the Heavenly Father Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit proceedeth out of the mouth of his prophets and these words 
shall not return unto the for the void, which the word void means empty. Okay? But it shall accomplish that which I please. So eventually, the things that are written within the Holy Scriptures, including prophecy, which comprises the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Son Yahweh Shai, shall come to pass and not return unto the Father void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, even though they may seem to tarry, and the word tarry means to delay. And it shall prosper in a thing where to I send it. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision, which are the prophecies, is yet for an appointed time. So every prophecy, including past and present have been and are set for an appointed time. Even though you will have those of our own people that may not believe, but the scripture says to let not the incredulity, which when you examine the word incredulity, the word incredulity means unbelief, right? And the scripture says, let not the incredulity, which is the unbelief of them trouble you. How you doing, brother? All right? Because you're going to have those of our own people that are full of incredulity, which is unbelief. Unbelief of what? Unbelief of the scriptures. Unbelief of prophecy. All right? So don't let the unbelief of them trouble thee. You are there of the elect of the nation of Israel. But at the end it shall speak. So these visions which are for an appointed time, including the global introduction and subsequent mandation of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, including the destruction of America, Babylon, the Great, according to biblical prophecy and around the same time the return of our Lord let us not forget Jacob's trouble these are all examples of visions, prophecies that have been set for their appointed time and though they may seem to tarry though they may seem to delay wait for them because they as it is written here will surely come it will not tarry so these prophecies these visions will surely come because the Lord said that they will come the Lord says that they will happen they will not return unto him void but you have two thirds of our people that are full of incredulity unbelief that don't believe that these things will happen this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 21 and the scripture says so what if uh, some did not believe so what if they don't believe who cares most I don't care if they don't believe. <laughs> Two thirds, they're gonna get wiped out. It says, Ezekiel 12 verse uh, 21. And the word of the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel? And we understand that Israel represents a uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indian. And there's life foreigners, and we're all here yet this day in the land of our captivity. 
for disobedience against the Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, right? So, son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel amongst the Israelites, amongst the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians and Israelite foreigners, saying the days are prolonged. So, they're saying that the days of the visions of the prophecies of the Heavenly Father are prolonged. Oh, that's going to happen uh, 20 years from now, 10 years from now. That's going to happen in the next uh, next lifetime, uh, next generation. I won't be alive anyway. Those are all examples of uh, them saying that the days are prolonged, right? And every vision faileth. So remember it says that the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, they shall speak and not lie. Yet you have those of our own people that say that every vision faileth. In other words, these prophecies won't come to pass. All right? That's their mindset. Tell them therefore, so the Lord is saying to tell them therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I will make this proverb to cease. So the Lord is going to make this proverb to stop, to come to an end by making the visions which are and have been set for an appointed time come to pass. Though it tarry, wait for it, which shall surely come, it will not tarry. I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand. And a lot of Israelites are now seeing that these prophecies, the things that have been written, that have been prophesied about through the mouth of the Lord's prophets, his true prophets, are at hand. They're here. And the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Because you have a lot of wizards and warlocks amongst our people. They go to uh, suitsayers and monthly prognosticators, you know, witch doctors and whatnot, for vain div uh, divination, flattering divination. They want to hear flattery, good things. Oh. You're going to have a very great life here in Babylon the Great. Now, you may prosper for a season, but eventually it's going to all come crashing down when the Lord brings judgment in the end. All right? For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem. Yahweh Shai, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and the words are being said, are being prophesied, I'm beginning with the elder apostles, bishop elders, elder brothers, on down to men of like mind of the great millstone that are scattered here in America, primarily and abroad. All right, you can find us all over YouTube. All right, and the true affiliates, we have been prophesying of the things to come before they come, because that's what a prophet does, all right? And whether you believe that or not, that's, that's, that's on you. We're getting the blood off of, of our hands. So it says, <clears throat> if, I will, if I, the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, save the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Again, the word of the Lord Yahweh came to me, Bashem Yahweh Shai, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. 
oh, oh that's gonna happen many generations after I pass away. I'm not gonna be here to see these prophecies come to pass. That's their mindset, that's their sentiment, all right? That's gonna happen 20 years from now. Oh, you guys have been thinking about the same thing for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. What happened? And then eventually, judgment appears out of nowhere. And then that's when they say, oh shit, these guys, they've been talking about this for all these, all these decades. Shit, I was, I was wrong about those guys, man. It says the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesieth of the times that are far off. <laughs> Therefore, saying to them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. Because we are living in the times of prophecy, baby. Prophecy. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, save the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. And finally, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, which means to look, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. So that's when they're going to realize, just like this guy is slowly beginning to, that a prophet had been among them. All right? So the Mosai is about to bring a lot of death, judgment, misery upon the earth. All right? For all the wickedness. So... With that, I say Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'll catch y'all in, in the next lesson. Glory to Shalom.